One of the most common issues in the golf swing is that inside takeaway. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video on how to fix this, and I spoke about a steering wheel analogy where we turn the steering wheel to the left. I had a lot of questions about, okay, that's great, but how do I then take it from the takeaway position to the top of the backswing? How do I carry the backswing on? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that so you get into a perfect top of the backswing position. You do not wanna miss this video. So before we jump into how to take the golf swing from the takeaway to the top of the backswing position, let's just do a quick recap on how we were fixing that inside takeaway. Now, I will leave the link up there to the video, so be sure to go check it out. But anyway, just to summarize what we went in that video, we saw when the majority of players started to roll that club to the inside, it was due to the forearms. The analogy we used was a steering wheel analogy. So imagine this is a steering wheel. I was turning the steering wheel to the right in the takeaway. What this did was it got the club rolling inside. You can see my thumbs are pointing inside. If I do that same feeling with a club, you can see that rolls the club inside, gets it very flat, sets off a, a negative chain reaction in our swing. So instead we said, okay, in the takeaway, let's turn the steering wheel to the left as our body is turning to the right. So when I did that, we saw that suddenly now the thumbs are pointing back in front of us. And this is awesome because this is gonna get us into that position where we see the hands arc slightly in, club head stays outside of our hands, and the club face is now matching my spine angle. And again, a lot of people went, wow, that's amazing, really fixed the takeaway, but how do I now get from this position here to the top of the backswing? Well, that's what we're gonna run through, so without further ado, let's jump into that video. To help you learn this move as fast as possible, I'm gonna run through a couple of different ways you can go from the takeaway position to the top of the backswing position. So the first way that we're gonna run through is continuing down the steering wheel analogy. Like we said, in the takeaway, we're gonna be feeling like the steering wheel is turning to the left. That's gonna allow us to get that club working in a good spot on the way back, preventing that inside takeaway. Now, as we do that, we're turning that steering wheel to the left. You can see my thumbs are gonna represent the club here. They're pointing in front of us. Now again, and we can continue that thought to around sort of chest high, maybe left arm parallel. But once we get to this point, we are then gonna see if we continue that sensation, what then happens is the right elbow is gonna hike way too much behind us. Now, if I then pop a club in my hand and replicate that same motion, you will find that that actually gets me across the line at the top of the backswing. So turn the steering wheel to the left, Great for the takeaway. Even if we continue it to this position here, we can see now the shaft is very much pointing more down towards my toe line. Again, for some players who really do roll it inside, that's gonna be a great feeling for you. It's gonna over-exaggerate it. But if I continue that past left arm parallel to the ground, you're gonna notice then that the right elbow wants to fly, the club wants to get very across the line. And as you can tell there, that's not really an optimal position because from there, I'm gonna to have to have a big compensation to try and get the club laid down behind me. If that's not necessarily what we're trying to see, what are we trying to see? Well, let's grab this again. So at some point now, we know we have to go from turning the steering wheel to the left to kind of turning it back to the right and getting it into a neutral position. So in reality, this is what's gonna happen. We are gonna turn the steering wheel to the left in the takeaway, then at around left arm parallel to the ground, we're gonna to start to turn it back to neutral and then back past to the right. So this is what that would look like. Again, pay attention to where my thumbs are pointing. Turn the steering wheel to the left, thumbs are in front of me, good takeaway position. Now, as we start to get to left arm parallel, chest high, around that sort of zone, we're gonna to start to then turn the steering wheel back to the right, and then in transition, we're gonna turn it even more to the right. If I grab a club and I do that for you here, just check out and see what position that does. So, turning it to the left in the takeaway, around left arm parallel to the ground, we're gonna to start to turn it to the right. There's a pretty neutral top of the backswing position and then I continue to turn it to the right on the way down, you can see that shaft then wants to very much shallow out behind me. So to simplify it, we go the first half of the backswing, let's call it, we turn it to the left, after that, we turn it to the right and we continue to turn it to the right in the early part of the downswing. That is going to produce what we class as a little bit more of a steep to shallow motion. Let's give that a go for you right here. To the left, to the right. So there you go, nice sort of drawy shape. That was my best attempt at it, hopefully I did it. Uh, but that is going to be the way that we can do it with this steering wheel analogy. Turn it to the left, turn it to the right. Now, let's now run through a second option that you can have in terms of helping you get into a good top of the backswing position. The second reference guide we can use is the elbows. Now, the elbows are a fantastic guide for the backswing, not only for what we're about to talk about, but also for helping us make sure that they stay connected with our body. So. 
What we are looking to do with the elbows in the backswing is if you notice a good takeaway position right here, pay attention to how my right elbow is relative to my left. What you can see is my right arm, my right elbow is higher than my left. If I start to roll the club inside, so I do that takeaway right there, notice what happens to my right elbow uh, relative to my left. You can actually see that it's getting relatively level relatively quickly or potentially it's dipping underneath the left elbow too quickly. So if we see that position where the right elbow very much gets underneath the left elbow too quickly, we're going to see that rolled inside takeaway versus a good takeaway. We will see the right elbow stay on top of the left for a longer period of time. Now, what about at left arm parallel? What are we looking to see in that position? Well, if we continue it back into a good spot, so let's just say uh, the shaft points just inside the golf ball, what would that look like? Well, we would see here in this position that the right elbow would be marginally higher than the left. Again, if I do it from this point of view, the right elbow here is marginally higher than the left. Now, Let's take that position and let's now go to different extremes. What would we see happen in terms of the shaft position? And this is where you can exaggerate feelings to help match up your swing. And I'll go through that in a second. So if we take that position, right elbow is marginally higher than the left in sort of a, let's just call this a standard neutral position. If I start to get the right elbow even higher than the left, the shaft's going to steepen even more. For players that really get the club rolling inside, this could be a great feeling for you, feeling that right elbow stay higher than the left till left arm parallel on the ground. Now, the other way we could go is we could start to feel like the elbows are a little bit more level and potentially even go right elbow lower. So you can see the more I start to go that way, then we're going to start to find that actually we are going to get the club laying behind us more. Now, if you're somebody who does get a little bit too sort of hikey with that right elbow that way, again, by feeling that right elbow work a little bit lower than the left in that position can massively help you. So again, you can just hit some little half shots practicing this position. Maybe you're gonna feel elbows more level, right elbow slightly higher. But when you do this, you can just hit some little shots feeling how those elbows are just to the left arm parallel position, just like so. So that one there, I very much felt like that right elbow was just a margin higher. Chances are the shaft would have been a hair steeper. And for me, that's gonna set me up quite nicely to then take it to the top of the backswing. So let's now carry the conversation on from the three quarter position to the top of the backswing. And again, I put in quote unquote, the neutral position at three quarters would be the right elbow marginally, marginally higher than the left. Again, that's gonna get the shaft pointing maybe just inside the ball line. If I do it from this front on view, you can see right elbow maybe just marginally above above the left. Now, how do we then go from that position there to the top of the backswing? Well, we would start to see, like we saw with the steering wheel analogy, steering wheel turned to the left to start, but then it started to turn back to the right as we progressed to the top of the backswing. So we've gone from right elbow higher, right elbow marginally higher to now at a neutral position, we could go right elbow pretty level with the left. Maybe if you wanna go a little bit more laid off, the right elbow might be a little bit lower than the left. If you wanna go a little bit more across the line, a little bit steeper, right elbow might be slightly higher than the left. So as a quote unquote neutral, let's say the elbows are level, maybe the right elbow is a margin lower than the left. And again, that's gonna help us start to get into that position in the downswing, right elbow higher, marginally higher, neutral, right elbow lower to where then we can shallow that club out. Now, how do you take this and apply it to your game? Well, you are that player who rolls the club massively to the inside. You can use either of the steering wheel analogy or the elbow analogy. But if you are that player, you are going to be exaggerating the feeling of either turning the steering wheel to the left, that's gonna be this position, turning the steering wheel to the left, and then later on it will start to spin back to the right, or you're gonna be the player who focuses on having that right elbow higher in the takeaway, higher at left arm parallel, and maybe a fraction higher at the top of the backswing. Again, that's just a, a feel. Feel versus real are two different things. Now, what if you're that golfer who's actually the opposite? Right arm sort of hikes up, gets into that poor position, shaft gets a little bit too steep. Again, you might actually be feeling like the elbows at left arm parallel position get a little bit more level. Maybe the right elbow gets a little bit lower. Top of the backswing, right elbow again, maybe a fraction lower. So what you can see here is we're taking the concept of these are what we call our neutral positions. And again, look at your favorite tour pro, look at maybe you swinging at your best if you've got those videos, look at where your elbow levels are. What you can then do is go, okay, here's where I am now. I wanna get back to that position. I might need to exaggerate it one way 
or the other. So this is where we take the concept and then we match it to your swing. So take either of those analogies, give both a try, see which one works best for you. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a like and subscribe and I hope to see you back here soon.